The only problem with the previous algorithm was that it can lead to a condition called deadlock when both the processes are in the entry section simultaneously and both the flags are set to true at the same time. Thus, this algorithm with the flag variables is combined with the algorithm 1 with the turn variable and a new algorithm 3 had been designed which is also called Peterson solution. Here we use both the flag variables as well as the turn variable and it works like this. If both the flags are set to false, similar to the previous algorithm, if both the flags are set to false, it means none of the processes is wishing to enter the critical section. Then if any one flag is set to true, it means the corresponding process wishes to enter the critical section and that process can enter the critical section. Now the problem occurs when both the flags are set to true. In previous algorithm, when both the flags are set to true, there arises a confusion regarding which process should enter the critical section next. As a result, each process will wait for the other process and both of them get blocked leading to deadlock. Here come the significance of turn variable. Since this is a single global variable which is shared by both the processes and it can have only two values either 0 or 1. Thus even if both the flags are set to true, the value of turn will be either 0 or 1. Depending on this value, if both the flags are set to true, must check the value of turn variable. Depending on what is the value of turn variable, one of the process will continue with its critical section. Thus, the processes will never get blocked and the deadlock situation is avoided. So first let's see how this algorithm handles the deadlock situation. After that let's see how this whether this algorithm satisfies the conditions like mutual exclusion, progress and bounded weight. Now this is the entry section code for P0. If P0 wishes to enter the critical section, it will set its flag to true. This flag of 0 becomes true. Then if the other flag is false, the flag of 1, flag of process P1 is false, then it means P1 is not interested to enter the critical section now. Thus P0 will be able to enter the critical section directly. It works like this a previous algorithm. But in case the flag of 1 is true, it means P1 the process P1 is either in the entry section or in the critical section. This statement has already been executed by P1. Thus, it can be either in the critical section or it can be inside the critical section. If P1 is already inside the critical section, then there is no issue. While exiting from the critical section, P1 will set its flag to false then P0 will be able to enter the critical section. This is the exit section code. In the exit section code, they will set their flag to false. But if P1 is still inside the entry section, then there can be deadlock. So to avoid deadlock, what P0 will do? If flag of 1 is true, it means P1 has already executed the first instruction. And in case P1 has also executed the second instruction, the update on the turn variable prior to P0, then let P1 continue with the critical section first. For that, P0 will give a turn to P1 and will just wait in the while loop. Means, after setting its flag to true, P0 will give a turn to P1 by assigning value 1 to turn. Now it checks the flag variable and the turn variable. If the flag variable is true and the value of turn is still 1, it means this, in, this statement is the last update on the turn variable. So before that update, if some update is performed by P1 on the turn variable, then it means P1 has crossed the second instruction first. The let P1 continue with the critical section first. 
for that p0 will just wait in the while loop and if p0 has crossed this instruction first then the chance will again come back to p0 and p0 will be the first process to enter the critical section let's see with some examples consider this sample sequence p0 needs to enter the critical section so it will set it flag to true now flag of 0 is true then it will execute the next instruction turn equals 1 now flag of 1 is actually false here thus p0 could have entered the critical section but before executing this while loop suppose a preemption occurred and p0 lost its processor thus p1 gained the processor and now p1 is also wishing to enter the critical section thus p1 will set its flag to true hence flag of 1 is also true thus both the flags are set to true at the same time now p1 will give a turn to the process p0 it will assign value 0 to the turn assuming that if before this update some update is done by p0 it means p0 has crossed this instruction prior to p1 then let p0 continue with this critical section thus p1 will check the flag flag is true and the value of turn is still 0 it means this is the last update on turn variable thus p1 will wait there without moving to the critical section after some time again preemption will occur and p0 will regain the processor now p0 will execute the while loop flag of 1 is true but the value of turn is 0 the p0 will be able to enter the critical section first it means p0 had crossed this instruction or p0 had performed the update on turn variable first so whichever process cross this instruction first will be able to enter the critical section first in other words we can say the process which performs the last update on the turn variable will wait there and let the other process continue with the critical section first thus one of the processes will always continue with the critical section in this case if value of turn is 0 p0 continue with the critical section first and if the value is 1 p1 will continue with the critical section thus the processes are not blocked and there is no chance for deadlock and which process will continue the process which performs this uh, last update on the turn variable will wait there and the other process will continue now consider this sequence let p0 is interested to enter the critical section it will set its flag to true thus flag of 0 becomes true but before executing the next instruction here itself the processor got printed and p0 lost its processor now p1 gained the processor and p1 is also interested to enter the critical section thus it will set its flag to true thus both the flags are set to true and then p1 will execute the next instruction it will assign turn value to zero now p1 without entering the critical section it will check the flag the flag of 0 is true and since turn equals 0 it means the last update on turn variable is performed by p1 itself thus p1 will assume that if p0 had already done an update on turn let it continue but in this case actually p1 has done the update first thus p1 should continue with the critical section but for the time being p1 will wait in this while loop after some time preemption again preemption will occur and p0 will gain the processor now p0 will resume the execution at this point by giving the value of turn to 1 now turn equals 1 
and since flag is true and turn equals 1 it means the last update on turn is performed by P0 thus P0 will never enter the critical section it will wait in the while loop after some time again preemption will occur and P1 will regain the processor now it will continue with the while loop but the value of turn is now 1 thus P1 will be able to enter the critical section the, since P1 has crossed this instruction first prior to P0 P1 finally eventually P1 will be able to enter the critical section first Finally, consider one more sequence. Let P1 wishes to enter the critical section now. Thus, flag of 1 is set to true. Then, it will execute the next instruction also. Thus, the value of turn equal 0. It will give a turn to the process P0. But before executing the while statement, the processor got preempted. Now, P0 will continue. And P0 needs to enter the critical section. Thus, flag of 0 is also true and then the value of turn is now 1. Now P0 will execute the while statement. Flag of 1 is true and the value of turn is 1. It means this is the last update on the turn variable. Thus P0 will wait there. After some time the processor will get printed. P1 will resume the execution at the while loop and here the flag of 0 is true but the turn value is 1, thus P1 will be able to enter the critical section. Since P1 crossed this instruction first, it will be able to enter the critical section. Thus the process which performs the last update on the turn variable will wait there and the other process which uh, performed the update prior to it will continue with the critical section first.